Hey, DragonCon, Crispy here with our friend Tala. Tala, Hi. thank you for coming to DragonCon. I'm so glad It's I'm here. amazing yeah. that you're here. <laughs> uh, conventions are a relatively new part of your life. They, they are. And I know that you literally just got here. Mo really moments ago. Yeah, yeah literally. <laughs> so you, I know you haven't had a whole lot of time to really kind of take in what's going out mm -hmm. there, but you went through. Yeah, I what had, I had, I had a, a you know seven-minute walk probably, yeah, right, right, right. Um, and it was amazing. It, yeah. it reminded me of... Uh, San Diego Comic Con, yeah. um, but it felt more, I don't know, like grassroots or something. That's fair. I yeah. mean, it's a family yeah. run organization yeah. by fans for fans. You can feel that, that yeah, though. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's corporate. It's stuff is corporate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what yeah. That's what I'm, I don't yeah. get paid to say that, but that's yeah. the honest truth. Yeah. We were pretty laid back here, pretty chill. And hopefully, you're here, uh, what, it's, it's Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Are you here Monday as well? No, Sunday, leaving Sunday night. Good call, good call. Is that right? What's, what happens on Monday? That's fine. I don't, <laughs> Monday, Monday is the exodus. Everyone leaves. Oh, and so, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's they're like, mm. I don't want to leave the con scene. The con, the, the con drop is what they call mm. it. It's like, I miss my life. I miss my friends. So, no. But I'm hoping that by the time this is over, you'll have your own stories to tell and, and right. meet a lot of the fans. So one of the things that I want to kind of dig into Things that you're into, nerdy stuff. Now, you're familiar with other cons. Dragon Con is home to everything. Where you're not working, where would you go? Um, is there like a place where I can play Settlers of Catan? Yes, there is. You are talking to the biggest, I'm the biggest board game nerd I, uh, by far. So yes. Settlers is a gateway drug Gr Yo, by yeah. far. I, and I'm that's a, a big, huge. big board game. What's yeah. your go-to? I, I, all right, so not to brag, I've got like 400 of them at home. Oh, so God. this is my and thing. And I'm an yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 like, this is my jam, so. I like them all. I also I also like like a good old fashioned like card mm -hmm. card game like a coup oh, yeah, yeah. or uh, even like Phase Ten if you're feeling like you have some so time. I love Phase Ten. If you, there's a dice version of Phase Ten, Ooh. which is wacky, that's I, I prefer that to the I'll card version. It's that. a little bit more random kind of stuff. The one that people have been telling me to play forever is Pandemic. I can't do Pandemic oh. because uh, the, are you familiar with the term quarterbacking? Yes. Okay, that's I'm guilty of that. Okay, so co-op co games. I, I tr I'm better about it, but a pandemic is a uh, kryptonite. For I me. I think that would be a problem for me too because mm. I am I'm super ruthless. Yeah, I'm like let's <laughs> get this done, and you're gonna do it. Yeah. What, yeah. What, so you typically like obviously casual card fun things, but like what's your big jam game? Like crunchy, heavy roll. You you'll play this game for four hours if you can. I mean, Catan is up there. Yeah. If I'm feeling like. Really, like, I'll play. I'll go like old school. Play Risk. Yeah, uh, like, yeah. Do you have a particular hours, version? Hours, hours, and hours later. Like yeah. just the OG. Just the OG. The OG. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever get into all the crazy versions? Because there's no. like 30 of them I know, now. there's so many. Yeah, it's I, like I, all those monopolies. I'm oh like, my yeah. God. They like, like, we'll just print them all out. And people play them. Yeah. Uh, did you see a, the um, the socialist monopoly that just came yes. out? Yes, I did. It's the only monopoly where I'm like, you know, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Because that's yeah, that's yeah. a fun that's a fun gag. I recently replayed Monopoly and. That's a hard game. Did you play it with the actual rules or the rules that we, with the auctioning okay, or? we played with the actual rules with the um, house rule of whenever you uh, have to pay, you pay into oh, free the, the parking. Free parking, basically. right, 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 right. And I was playing with my mother and uh, my mom won. Oh no. Landed on free parking and then just uh, destroyed yeah. us. And it's really sad when you're just like, Selling your property, yeah, you mortgaging. Go. It's, yeah, it gets, it gets it, sad. It gets, it gets a little real, but you know, especially yeah. like, all right, now my mom's a 1%. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. hurts. This hurts. Yeah, that's exactly Monopoly right. is the, the game that will ruin families in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Careful. I was like, so, oh, are you still on speaking terms? We're okay, okay. but right, I don't right, think right. we're going to play again. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. You got to kind of dial it back down a bit yeah. and things like that. Um, I, if we're not careful, we're going to talk about bird games the entire time. Yeah. But uh, I, but I also hear that you're a bit of a Shakespeare fan. Oh yeah, that's my that's a thing that I do as well. Yes. I stage background. I love acting, oh, things like that. So I want to know where you go with Shakespeare. Do you know that we have a Shakespeare tavern here in town? I don't. Yeah, and they just did this thing called Romeo and Juliet out of a hat, Ooh. where they assigned their roles at the beginning of the show and didn't know what they were going to do. Are people on the page? Some of them are. They've done the and shows some enough. People, some people are like, I know this. I got this. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, the woman who played oh. Juliet was, it was like, I've done theater for 20 mm, years. Wow. I'm like, that was one of the most moving things I've ever seen. So well, I want to talk about your experience with Shakespeare. We're here for you, not me. Uh, sorry, no. sorry. No, I'm Let's interested in anyone who will like nerd out with yeah. me on Shakespeare. Um, yeah, I, I've, I love Shakespeare. I spent a couple years at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, yeah. which is okay. an amazing mm -hmm. place for Shakespeare and other theater. Um, I met my partner doing yeah. uh, Shakespeare. He's actually off doing Macbeth right now. That's in, one in of my favorites. New York City. Yeah. Um, What's he doing for Macbeth? 
he's playing Malcolm. Ooh, Malcolm's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah good I got part. to do Banquo, and uh, oh, uh, that was a blast. But Malcolm was a. That, that's yeah, one of those, I'm excited. That's one of those plays like I would just love to do everything. Yeah. Do you know yeah. the actor Corey Stoll? I know by name. He's but playing Macbeth, and he's just That's an amazing, amazing. actor. I, okay. I, so I did Shakespeare in the Park with him mm -hmm. uh, in New York a few years ago, uh, doing Trailers and Cressida. Oh God, he was, yeah. He was revelatory. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I, I, that's that's one of those shows that you typically don't see a lot of in general. No. Because it's... I've performed it twice. Well, how did you do twice. that twice? In Once fact, is a lot, but... In fact, but I've played all the female roles in Trailers and Cressida. That's amazing. I know, it's a really weird thing <laughs> that I think no one else is, I should be in some book. I know, yeah. that's that's a fun check mark. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I've done, a I've done TV and fine, yeah, but have you seen what I've done with this? Yeah, I'm, nobody I'm cares. Here for that, yeah. <laughs> was there, what was your gateway Shakespeare? What was the one that got you into it? Was my gateway Shakespeare? Yeah. I feel like it was just, I think it was Twelfth Night, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, I feel like it was Twelfth Night. Was there something particular about the whole mystery of everything there, like who was what, and that, that drug you into the Twelfth Night? Or yeah. Just, it just I think happened it was, to be the I think it was one. the first one I read. I think the first one that really captured my imagination, though, was As You Like It. Oh, yeah. Because I was very taken with the character of Rosalind. That she's great. Love her. Really yeah. want to play that part. I, I, uh, I hope I get to. It was fun. That, anyway. I did that show once, and as much as I love the play, it was the worst experience I've ever had. That I, yeah, I did Touchstone, and I was just like, well, this is fun. I get to be a clown. And I want to come back, and I want to have that experience. Part. I want to have that experience. Yeah. Be like, I want to love that show because I know everyone. Like Rosalind is one of the most mm -hmm. famous and loved characters. Yeah, she's so. so smart in the way. Like I just, I, I, I admired how dexterous she was yeah. at, you know, navigating a tough world. Getting through everything. Yeah. yeah. So you, do you tend to then kind of avoid the fantasies? No. No, I actually, like, in the, over my hiatus this uh, last year, like, we, I was part of this, like, series of Shakespeare readings, mm -hmm. and we did Winter's Tale. Do you count yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and I wasn't super familiar with it before, and after it, I was like, this yeah. shouldn't work. <laughs> Literally, a woman turns in to a statue and then unturns into, right. like, into a person by the end of the play, and it's beautiful. And, like, yeah. I cried every time. Yeah. I... I, I'm sorry, you keep selling me on this. I, I, will, I want to find all this. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to. I'm curious about this because you don't get to talk about this of me, you no, us I in general. Love that we're talking yeah, yeah. About this. Are you, are you a purist or do you like the adaptations? Like when people try to like put a modern or a wacky spin on Shakespeare, do you just like the classic? Let's just do it by the bard. Um, I, I think I'm a little bit of a purist, but giving room to, I think we have, because that language is so challenging yes. and it is from 400 years ago, mm -hmm. um, I appreciate productions that are liberal cutters. Yes. I think like cut it. Please, Nobody wants you. to see four no. hours. Like give me a 90 minute Macbeth. I want to be entertained. Would get, love get in. that. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of just weird stuff where you're like, did did I Willie write did. that because like that donor gave him money and was like, can you write yeah. that? Scene? You know. Um, oh, that's how I feel too. There's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's some really odd odd scenes in there. So in terms of that, like I'm like cut yeah. it. Like know what story you're telling and like streamline it towards that. Um, and then like the in terms of like adaptation or I should say like concept. That's fair. Con yeah. The, yeah uh, which stuff, there's yeah. a lot of that where it's like Everywhere. we're. It's, there's one actually in uh, Vancouver right now which I haven't. Scenes. Maybe it's wonderful, okay. but it's um, like the poster is it's taming in the shoe, but like everybody's got a cowboy hat, and I'm like, okay, uh, I, guess <laughs> like, I, I guess that's fine. Like maybe it's great. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's you not know. something I would have yeah. expected from that, and I'm sure they've got a concept and yeah. it works. What's your opinion of complete works? Have you ever seen complete works? It's the not written it, where oh, everything the comedy. You know thing. what? I I I read it uh -huh. in high school, and I like think I performed like snippets right, of it right. for it, like it's, drama it's competition yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm a little hazy on it. Good, but good. Yeah, well, but I remember it being cool. I'm gonna sell you on that because yeah. it's playing here in town tonight. Oh, really? So we'll talk about this after. I, not that you'll have time, but I'm gonna let you know mm. about it all the same. Okay. So. Okay. Um, to that point, though, you're going to have a very busy schedule. You just got here. Yes. I know you got to get going. But yeah. before you go, I want to get our random question here with Randall Dude. here. I'm going to shake this up like we Randall. do. He's had he's seen some things this I'm weekend. Sure. I'm sure he has. <laughs> go for it here. All right, let's go. Just pinky. Pink one, do it. All right. Which chore do you always put off doing? Mm. Mm. Good question. Dishes. 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 Just the act of doing them or just like letting them sit there and putting them away? It doesn't get crazy because I'm, yeah. I'm a bit of a clean freak, but my husband loves doing dishes, so I just let him do it. But Bless. when I'm by myself, 
They just kind of they kind of get a little bit yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. Yeah. But yeah. not to a crazy degree, but you're just like yeah, I'm not like yeah. That's tomorrow. <laughs> that's like tomorrow cascade, me's problem. Cascading onto yeah, this, yeah, 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 but yeah. it's uh, yeah. I just don't. It's not like an every night that's thing fair. for me. Mm. I'm not gonna judge you. It's fine. I Thank mean, you. I'm, I I'm appreciate that. Thing, honestly, it's all right. Well, this has been great, and yeah. I would love to talk with you more, but you got to get we'll, going. We'll nerd out. So we'll nerd out. I want to thank you so much for thank your time. You. Thanks so much. And we will see you guys right at DragCon. Yay.